main tourist attractions in Rome are the fountains and the squares. So what better way to see them than on a family-friendly tour? So this tour is really educational and kid-friendly. Get them engaged and keep them occupied while we're walking through the streets. Hey! <laughs> So now we've arrived at the Pantheon, which used to be a temple back in the day, and now it's actually a church. And there's a lot of tombs inside of famous Italian people like the painter Raphael and Queen Margaret, who Margarita Pizza was actually named after. I love these walking tours because you really get immersed in the Roman architecture and all the old buildings. It's absolutely stunning. As you admire the fountains and piazzas, your guide will tell kid-friendly stories about the history of the Roman architecture and the city itself. We're in the Piazza Navona, and behind me is a fountain that's sculpted by Bernini. It has four different statues surrounding it, which represent four different rivers, one in Africa, in Germany, India, and Brazil. the Trevi Fountain and the legend has it if you throw the coin over your shoulders into the fountain don't turn around and look in the water or the wish won't come true. Uno, due, tre. <laughs> this small group tour of the fountains and squares in Rome was so informative and engaging for the children. They had so much fun and so did I.